All right, here we go. Gonna make a video showing you guys. Uh, the living room is basically done. I just had carpet installed, so I'm gonna show you that. See how it turned out. Looks pretty good in this room. It's all transformed, but I don't remember what the last one I did. But crown molding's up, ceiling's done, all the new lights are in, puck lights are in, everything like that. So tile's done at the front door. I remember showing you a little video doing all that, but. So here's the new carpet. Had it installed from Lowe's. Colors called natural. Here's a little sample of it, but here you can see it's a uh, face weight on it is uh, I think 68. It's a good solid carpet. It's got a backing on it. The installer guy kept saying it was a uh, nice expensive carpet, but it wasn't cheap, but I don't know. I think it was like for something a square foot with the middle padding that they had uh, it's called memory memory foam or something but it's stain master carpet i did the deal for uh memorial day i got my 10 percent off because i'm a veteran and then uh they had a uh stain master was doing a 10 percent rebate back that ended memorial weekend so I got advantage of that, and uh, so I got a gift card back from them for $147, which I actually just used the other day and bought a Oklahoma Joe smoker, which that'll be another video coming up. But I just uh, seasoned the smoker and used it for the first time yesterday. So, but anyway, but yeah, it looks good in here. I just kind of got some rammed and stuff sitting around. I've got some new furniture coming. And um, so I just, and that over there is the, uh, the bottom piece is going to be the top to a uh, coffee table that I'm going to make. And then that top six footer is actually the countertop that I am putting in the laundry room that's going to sit on top of some hickory cabinets once I get to the laundry room. Hoping to get at that not too long down the road, but I've only got the hallway back there in that laundry room and the inside of the house will then be done. It's a full remodel. But anyway, so there's what the carpet looks like. Turned out really good with the tile. The color looks really good. Carpet guy did a real good job. The installer. Anyway, trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. I had that that little, whatever you call that thing, baker's table or something like that sitting there. One of those vents is an inlet, one's an outlet. And I think there's enough room underneath there. That's where I've had it for the last two years. But I'm just trying to direct it because it's kind of warm, you know, here in Missouri right now, a little on the humid side. But... I'm just trying to get more airflow straight out into the room. And because um, the only thing I've got out here is there's a vent there. Oh, there's where that pillow went. There is a register there. And these are new. I put new ones in. So the white ones look pretty good. And then there's one over here. So the white looks pretty good. But be nice to get these cables all done too because right there's where the old cables at however i've got the google fiber and it's in the, the jack for that is in the laundry room so i'm going to actually move that jack pull that out and put the fiber there so um one of the things i'm buying one of the new pieces of furniture is going to be a entertainment a tv uh, tv entertainment stand that's going to go right there in front of that window and I'll put my routers and such like that in there, my Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. I'll put that in there and have it. But ultimately, then the TV will go back over here, which is where I had it at before. But but back to the whole AC thing. So a couple years ago when my AC for the house 
the startup capacitor went out on it, and so I picked that unit up there at Lowe's out of a panic, you know, and uh, not knowing what was wrong with my AC, even though it was only four years old, but it was out of warranty because I'm the second owner of it. And uh, it was just the startup capacitor, which I replaced that myself. But that 10,000 BTU keeps it pretty cool in here whenever I'm in here and you need to kick it on for a little bit extra because those two vents just don't cool this room down enough, you know, to sit out here and be comfortable. I kind of like it down to about 73, but, but it's not bad outside. I don't even know what the temperature is right now, but it's only like 76 here in this room, but I run that fan a little bit, but when I'm going to be in here doing stuff, I'll turn that uh, AC unit on over there and kick it on. But you know, I got all the critters and everything's back up. But yep, yeah, that's the big Arizona toad right there. Archery. Anyway, thanks for watching.